Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 Season 3 has already leaked, and you're not gonna believe who leaked the info. No! You may or may not have seen the fact that Call of Duty themselves actually gave us some more info about what's coming in Season 2 Reloaded and Season 3. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit while we do some more hardcore Season 2 Mosh Pit. I just unlocked a brand new Assault Rifle, the ISO Hemlock, which is basically the ACR, overkilling with a shotgun in case we need to use that. Gonna casually level them up and go for camos while we talk about Season 3. Hopefully this game of Dome goes better for me compared to the Brecci video. But yeah, if you guys are looking forward to some more new content for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. First things first, gunfights, you know that game mode from Modern Warfare 2019? That is confirmed to be coming back in Season 3. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, the headshots. Jesus, man. <laughs> Dude, oh, I had them in the spot. Dude, that could have been amazing. Pretty sure no one watching this video is going to pat them on the back for bringing back a gunfight, which was at launch in Modern Warfare 2019. I think it's pretty safe to say that they're purposely withholding this content so that way they can release it later. The feeding of the drip feed variety continues. But you know, it is what it is. I'm getting used to being treated like a gerbil on Call of Duty. They give me crumbs. I'm still going to feast. What other choice do we have? I mean, that's probably why they're doing it. You know, it is really interesting. I see a lot of people mention that and they're like, well, why don't you just go play something else? I kind of have. I've gone back and played Infinite Warfare. I recently got re-addicted to Pokemon Go. I've got other games I can play. Hogwarts Legacy. We got Sons of the Forest coming up. I don't have to settle for the drip feed. I can go eat somewhere else and I'll be eating much better. Yo, I actually got to show you guys this. I'm such a nerd for this, but I'm going to show you anyway. I caught my first shiny legendary on Pokemon Go. Praying I'll be able to get a shiny Rayquaza once that raid's available. Because of the dire map situation on Modern Warfare 2, we are actually going to be getting another multiplayer map in this game. Now, it's not going to be coming out immediately. I believe they said that it's going to be coming with Season 2 Reloaded. It's really bizarre how they tried to play it off. I think they said that the map basically succeeded in playtesting and it's like ready to go. They're going to drop it early. That That's not even true. I really hope the map is just like ridden with glitches or problems or something. Ooh, quad feed. Ooh. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping that the map is actually not completely ready just to prove a point that the Call of Duty community basically forced them to make more content or at least push it out sooner so we have more maps to play in this game. Don't get it twisted. I'm glad that we're getting a brand new map. I mean, it's not even a remake. It's an actual new map. Here's a picture of it on the screen so you can see exactly what it looks like. Appreciate its beautifulness and all of its glory. I mean, hopefully it's a good map. We just need more content. We need more maps. You know, I gotta say, I, I feel insulted that they're not giving us more content. Do they have us on a drip feed because they think we need to be on a diet? I mean, I'm insulted. Oh my. What was that? Double wall bango. Well, bango bingo bongo. Got a mortar out of that. When it comes to the whole multiplayer map situation for Modern Warfare 2, I do have some pretty strong feelings about it. And also what I think is a pretty straightforward solution to this whole problem. Have you guys ever heard of Al Mazra? You know, the Warzone map that has like 20 points of interest, some of which are OG Modern Warfare 2 maps. Why don't we just get those? Don't we have like Afghan Terminal, High Rise maps that don't really need to be play tested? Like they're already in the game. They should be good to go. I swear to John, dude, if they try to sell those maps as like the year two content, I'm going to be so, I will be incensed. I'm going to be infuriated. I will probably just explode. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. The new ACR slaps. I don't even have attachments on it, and it's already amazing. Man, I know we're here in hardcore, but I bet it's good in core too. But like, for real, man, can't you just take the points of interest from the Warzone map and just release them as multiplayer maps? We could probably have like 10 extra maps in the game right now. At that rate, it's not even about the maps being new. It's just about having more to play, more variety. Like, bro, if for season three, they just decided to add like 10 maps and they were all the points of interest, I wouldn't even be mad. How could you be upset at news like that at that point? Again, we're starving for content. We'll take whatever we can get. And that's exactly why they're pushing this map to season two reloaded instead of season three. Now, the real question is, does this mean that season three will have less content, less multiplayer maps, or have they heard our cries? Could this mean for season three that they'll actually give us even more maps? I really hope so. Dude, that Pikachu ran. Always running for me. Can we get that snubble? <laughs> I, that snubble ran too. Oh my, they're all running. Evil Pokemon. As far as it goes for the current state of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer with the start of the Season 2 launch, I feel like I'm a little bit more hopeful for this game. I mean, the fact that the patch notes are like 50 plus pages long, it at least shows that they do care about this game and that they're going to support it. They're going to make it better. I don't know if this is just me and my crazy opinions, but I kind of feel like they were just a little backlogged. Kind of feels like they have a big game of catch up to play. But the fact that they really are trying and they're doing their best, it does say a lot. I'm still not going to sit here and agree with the idea of purposely withholding contents to try to make things seem like they're more hype. Waiting to tactically release the content. Still not a big fan of that, but it could be significantly worse. I mean, they could just abandon the game. They could stop giving it updates. I think they are listening and they want things to get better because let's be realistic. If they didn't try to do anything, they'd probably get fired. Oh my, easy feed. Oh my, Woo! 
What are you guys doing? Enjoying the scenic view over there, huh? Wow, that was such a fast multi. Oh my god. Wait, we can use a token in game, right? Because this is a pretty good lobby. Yeah, let's use it. But yeah, for the time being, that's all we have about Season 2 Reloaded and Season 3 for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. But there is some more information about Warzone 2. Call of Duty did confirm that Plunder and Ranked are coming to Warzone 2 with Season 3. That's some pretty big news. I mean, we just got Ranked for multiplayer. At the time of recording this video, I still haven't had a chance to play Plunder yet. But Plunder, what am I saying? I haven't had a chance to play Resurgence yet. My bad. I think overall, since I'm a more casual BR player, I like those kinds of modes a little bit more. Having more chances to get back into the fight and actually, you know, go for kills. That might just be me, but I feel like it's a little bit more fun. I think overall, they're both going to be good additions because Plunder is kind of a little bit more casual. But for people who want to sweat even harder on Warzone, now you're going to have Ranked. And I'm going to assume that it's going to have some pretty decent rewards just like they've done with Ranked play for Modern Warfare 2. So that should be pretty good. I got a grip. I still have not put any attachments on this gun. It's not even necessary. It really isn't. For hardcore, this thing is amazing. Bro, you're too slow. Like, this gun with no attachments is just so fast. But as far as it goes for more content and more changes and ideas and things I'd like to see come to both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, I've definitely got some more stuff to say. Granted, I still haven't played the entirety of all of the new content yet, but there's still some stuff I'd like to say. I already touched on maps for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, so I think that goes without saying. I did actually happen to notice that they've made some improvements to private matches in the game, which is going to be great for open lobbies. But I can't fully confirm if they've fixed, like, everything. Oh my. Like, for example, there was some kind of weird glitch in Private Match where if you tried to play Domination, everybody would spawn with armor no matter what. Like, there was no setting to be able to turn it on or off. It just happened. Now, if you check that out in Private Match, you can see that there's the ability to enable or disable armor. That was actually a suggestion I gave them, so it was pretty interesting to see that they did that. I've still got to do some Private Match testing later with Karina to see exactly what they changed. But yeah, hopefully they continue to make improvements to Private Matches going forward with Season 2 Reloaded and Season 3. The kill feed for both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is atrocious. We've talked about this so many times, but there's still not any options there's no changes. The kill feed tops out at four kills. They don't spill over. There's nothing. Just make it like Black Ops 2. We said this so many times. It's the perfect kill feed. I think in BO2, it goes up to like seven or eight kills. Let's say, for example, you're trying to get a sniping quad feed and you get four kills, like four singles in a row, and then you hit a one shot quad in Black Ops 2, all eight of those kills would show up in the kill feed and it would look insane. If you did that in Modern Warfare 2, those four kills would be instantly pushed down and then there would be a new four, which just looks like you hit a quad feed. You can't even really tell what's going on. They need to either just make some changes to the default kill feed in the game or give us the same options that we had in Modern Warfare 2019. Again, I haven't touched anything Warzone related for Season 2 quite yet. I'm going to dive into it. But at least from what I've seen on Twitter and in the patch notes, there are still no changes to the sniper rifles being able to get a one-shot headshot on fully armored enemies. And there's no significant changes or improvements to movements. They haven't sped things up yet. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but it feels like they're just kind of like dipping their toes in the kiddie pool. Instead of jumping off the diving board face first into the bottom of the concrete. Oh, I'm just kidding. You, you don't want to die. But go for it. I really do feel that between Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and the War Warzone 2 community, we would like to see them take some bigger steps in the right direction. Feels like every software just kind of like nudging into the right place. As a metaphor, we would get there faster if we were attack sprinting versus being a sentinel. Stop being sentinels. Tax sprint into greatness. Who wants to camp up here? Hey, look, it's Modern Warfare 3 all over again. Let's camp up here with an ACR. <laughs> he didn't even see me. Oh my god, none of them see me. Oh, the double sticky. Mother, why did I prioritize the guy trying to shoot down a UAV? Probably because I wanted to keep it. I like how fast you earn the bonus and ultimate perks now. I really do. Basically makes them pointless and it shouldn't have been like this in the first place, but hey, it's better. Let's get him. It's brecci time, boy. You did not. You did not. He's a sentinel bro. I'm airstriking the man and running away. I'm not going to deal with that. Bye-bye, <laughs> Junior. He got a Junior whopping, am I right? At BK. No content for days on Modern Warfare 2. You know, it's a weird thing. I haven't run out of ideas, like good ideas for this game. But I feel like I've given so much input and so much feedback that at this point, I feel like I've just forgotten what I've said and what I've suggested and what I haven't. It's insane. I really can't say that I felt this way about a lot of the other recent Call of Duty games, like that they've had potential. That I'd want to even give that much advice or feedback in the first place. You know what I mean? Like Vanguard was basically just hopeless from the start. But this game Modern Warfare 2 has so much potential that I just keep coming up with shit. And maybe too many ideas. You know what I mean? Like at some point it has to get overwhelming. <gasps> oh, Morty! Your reaction time's garbage! <laughs> I love playing hardcore because it goes to show who has a better reaction time and who's a better camper. And I'm running on like four or five hours of sleep right now. You know, it's really interesting how they kind of cleared out the camping spots over there. It's just kind of like this big, open, barren wasteland. He's back. He actually went back there. 
Oh my! Oh, please be kill cam. Junior, what are you doing, buddy? Wait, not connected? How is it not connected? Okay, I finally put some attachments on it. Just to be super sure, I did Google Modern Warfare 2 Season 3 leaks, and I didn't find anything. So yeah, that's basically all the information we have so far. I think what they're really banking on us to do is get into ranked play, so that way we'll have something else to grind, to keep pouring hours into. We'll see how long the 450 level cap will hold us. On top of grinding the battle pass, getting camos for those guns, it's still kind of unclear on the whole crossbow situation, and when we'll be able to get that. Okay, so seeing that guy turtling just reminded me, there's no changes to the riot shield on your back. Make it happen, guys. Season 2 reloaded, Season 3, nerf the turtles. I'd like to believe that it won't be as big of an issue since we don't have shipment 24-7 in the rotation currently, but the second shipment comes back, you know it's going to be an issue again. Let's just take care of the problem now. Nerf the turtles. It's a garbage crutch play style that people feel like they have to play like because they're going to fall behind if they don't do it. I'm going to have every tiny little tactical advantage that I can. This isn't advanced warfare. Get the clowns out of the game. He's turtling with the brecci! No die for you. You're done. Oh. Nasty quapi. Let's go. Oh, more. Mm. That's what I like to see, boy. Oh, my God. Goodness! When they can't camp on me, that's what happens, boy. Woo! Hardcore is back. I'm ready to feed. Pretty sure I did say that if they bring hardcore into this game, that Karina and I are going to redo quad feed with every gun from Modern Warfare 2. Now, that's only going to apply to the base guns of Modern Warfare 2. I know there's DLC guns, but that'll be a separate video. You know, quad feed with every DLC gun like we've done before. But yeah, going for all the base gun quad feeds again in this game should be pretty fun. I'm very thankful that hardcore in this game is good. Tier 1 was absolute booty flakes, and I'm glad it's gone. You can't even access it in private match right now. That's how much disrespect went to that game mode. It's so weird, man. I almost kind of feel like Season 2 is how this game should have launched. Like, the state of things for Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 are just so much better than the launch of the game. Oh my. Oh, that's a decoy. Shoot, I need the Brecci Quad. Imagine hitting the Brecci Quad on this map. I mean, it, it probably isn't even that hard. Just need the right circumstance. Definitely not that, where they're sitting back. I've had multiple ACR quads this video. I mean, it's so good. I didn't make it. There was a pristine dolphin dive. I went to dolphin school for that. I got the laugh down. Final kill with the thermite. Epic gamer throw. <laughs> it almost hit him. But that's good to work for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about the season three leaks and season two reloaded content for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more brand new content on Modern Warfare 2, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Now come, Tranquil.